there everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and I'm reviewing fast. This was the Stock Swish show play of the day today in the live trading room and it worked. We had a nice easy peasy short today. Again, the only issue with this was that it was a little spready, but now as you can see, the spread is tightened up. So really, actually this looks like this could set up here for an, or has set up actually for an afternoon trade if you wanted to get back into it. Again, I prefer to focus on the morning. And for those of you that don't know what I do, I short. So the stock closed here the night before at 74.74 and gap down and open at 72.33. Again, I am looking for gap downs to short, either at rates per my 26 point system to short in the direction of the gap, or I will not do it, or I will go long if there's a good bullish gap, but there really wasn't anything I was in love with today to the upside. So really glad we had this and really glad it worked and it actually kept going it's pretty crazy actually this almost got to 69 it was way out of it before then but it, i could have actually made double actually probably i think even where i got out of this yeah i could have made double 69.45 is a low anyway stock close here gap down rallied we shorted it got in got the drop and i got out so again i'd like to get out quick fast early but this did have a drop, it continued, even went down, like I said, almost to what I would have considered the dream target at 69. And now it is setting up again, it's still falling. This is weak as all get out today. And it's gonna close red at some point here, three hours plus left in the day. This was, this was a nice gap. So I'm looking for everything to do every day that I can get the biggest momentum I could get as soon as I can get it. And the reason that I like to prefer to short and trade in the morning is because really 80% of the move of the stock happens, happens in that first half an hour, hour period. So I don't feel like, I mean, could this theoretically go and break the low? Yes, but I just don't feel like it's worth it holding it all day long to get, um, to get another 20%, 10, 15%. And again, remember the longer in a trade, the more that you're at risk of other things could happen, the market, news, data could come out, whatever. But this was a nice short today really really nice short today and again looking forward to earnings season which starts officially tomorrow april 12th when the banks report so congratulations to everyone in the live trading room who did this with me everybody made money today and again looking forward to an exciting month of april to trade if you're interested in learning what i do you can learn what i do and how did i know that fast was so short today how did i know it would go to the number i rated it when i got up in the morning and you can learn what I do in the Golden Gap course. The class for April is April 27th to 28th. Spots are filling up. Don't delay if you want to sign up and join. You have to do the class to join the live room because I talk about information in the room that is specifically for the class. The points, the entries, the exits, and everything we do. But the nice thing about being in the room, obviously, today, I call the trade live. I write the gaps for you myself, and I narrow it down to the best one, which I did with this today. So looking forward to tomorrow. Any questions, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.